A new update is arriving in Warzone. Patch 1.32 will introduce Season 2 into the game, and it's time you got yourself ready to download it. Some of these updates can be shockingly big, so if your internet isn't up to the task, you may find your friends squatting up without you. So we put together a comprehensive guide to downloading the brand new update as fast as possible. Black Ops Cold War's 1.12 preload opportunity for PlayStation users will go live at 9pm to 11pm Pacific Time on the 23rd of February, which is between 5am and 7am GMT on the 24th of February. So how can you download it on your platform? Well, for PS5 and PS4 users, you should get an automatic download if you have the correct settings implemented. If not, you'll need to go and do it manually. Find your game, press the options button, and then press check for update. If you don't feel like getting up early, we'd also recommend having automatic downloads turned on whilst in rest mode. To do this, go to settings, power save settings, set features available in rest mode, and then select the checkbox for stay connected to the internet. This means that your console will download the update even when it's not turned on. On Xbox One and Series X, a similar process will occur. The game will automatically download the update if you have Instant On enabled. If not, opening the game once the update is live should prompt it to download the update. Again, if you're not an early bird, turn the Instant On Power mode to download the updates while you're in bed. Head to Settings, Power and Startup, choose Instant On Power mode. Once done with that, come back out to the main setting menu and head to the system tab. Scroll to updates and ensure that all of the checkboxes are ticked. This will mean that your updates will download even when the Xbox isn't on. Unfortunately for PC players, it lacks these cool features that consoles have, but just having battle.net open will automatically download the update. If it doesn't do this as hope, try restarting the client to prompt the download. If at any point you're having issues with your download, check that you have the appropriate space on your hard drive. That's all well and good, but how can you speed things up? Well, here's some tips. The obvious one is to close all game and applications that might be using the internet as this can slow down the process. Some other apps may have high priority and be taking away from your precious update. Using Resmo isn't just for the lazy people, it's also a great way to squeeze a bit more juice out of your console. When it's on, it's using bandwidth to check for updates and other online features. Putting it into rest mode will quickly put a stop to that and speed up the process. Getting closer to your router if you're on Wi-Fi is very helpful if you're not nearby. Or if you can get close to it, use an Ethernet cable. If you do play over Wi-Fi, why not try a power line adapter? This will use your home's electrical wiring to extend your network's range and does it almost as good as directly plugging into your router. An obvious one, if you're not in a hurry, is to avoid downloading at peak times. Downloading when fewer users are online will see a reduction in the stress from your platform servers and result in speedier downloads. Another trick you can try is changing your DNS settings. It's been reported that it will help your speeds. To do this, enter your network settings on your console and choose to set up the DNS manually. Change the primary to 8888 and the secondary to 8844. This is Google's public DNS and could make the difference. And finally, if you're still having issues, you can try the oldest trick in the book, which is simply to restart your router. And that's it from us. Let us know your tips to speeding up your downloads in the comments down below. So did this help? Did you find what you were looking for? Be sure to drop a like if you did and follow for more Call of Duty content. And subscribe for more Call of Duty content. For the latest news, leaks and guys on Warzone, head over to gfidityesports.com.